Hello, hello, everyone. Welcome to Girls' Night Live. Happy Tasty Tuesday. One of my favorite days. Actually, every day that I get to be with Girls' Night Live is a favorite day. So welcome. Hope you're having a great one. We are excited to have you here today. Hey, if you have not already registered for an account, you need to go to girlsnightlive.com and you can register a profile for yourself that makes it so much easier for you to get into these Zoom meetings. If you are joining us on social media, you'll want to go there right now and start working on putting your profile together so that you can come to what I like to call the after party, the questions and answers at the end of the presentation. So you can do that anytime through and we will let you in. But welcome, everybody. Thank you for being here. We're so excited to have our GNL ambassador and owner of Diala Treats, Diana. She is going to show us how to create beautiful concha. Did I say it right? Ah, bouquets. <laughs> so excited to have you here, Diana. Thank you. Take it away. Yes, thank you for having me. I'm very excited to be back every time I have to do a workshop with Girls Night Live. I know it's going to be fun, so I'm super excited. Um, so thank you to everyone that joined. And um, I've been waiting for this workshop because I love putting these together. My customers love them, and I want to show you how I make them super pretty for them. So first, um, I'll start uh, with showing you which materials I like to use, and then we'll go ahead and uh, put some together here. Okay, so if we could switch to the other camera. Okay, so you can wrap up the conchas. Well, first of all, the main thing you need is your concha. So you can either use um, store-bought conchas or conchas that you make at home. The good thing about making them at home is that you can choose what size you make them. So today I'll show you how to make a tiny mini concha bouquet and then I'll show you how I make my regular sized ones. Um, if you get them at the store or the bakeries, they'll come in bigger sizes. Um, so that's why I like making my own. Um, so you can use craft paper to wrap the bouquets. Typically, I'll use craft paper for the minis, um, but this one's my least favorite to work with because it's kind of tough and it's a little bit harder to, to put together with the bouquets. And I'll pair the craft paper with this paper dollies and it just looks super pretty. Um, another option is um, gift tissue paper. This one I think is the most convenient one. Um, it's a little bit on the more affordable side, so you can use um, gift wrapping paper. And then my preferred option is going to be this um, floral wrapping paper. This I get from Amazon and it comes in this big size right here. I like to use this one for um, my bigger conchas. And if I will make minis, I'll cut it in half or in fours actually. And then I'll use just a square about this size uh, to make the minis. Other things we need are ribbon to make them look super pretty. Uh, we need some double-sided tape um, to hold them together. Sometimes the ribbon slides off the paper. So I like to use double-sided tape. We'll use um, this baker's twine here to hold them in place. I'm not sure if you guys can see. We can let see. Know, okay, let me know yeah. if I come off the frame. Okay. And we'll just need some scissors to, to cut everything up. So we can go ahead and get started. Another main thing that we need is going to be these wooden skewers. Um, you can get these on Amazon. Uh, Walmart, really any craft store. So I'll take six of my conchas. I'll do two for each color. Do the bigger one first. Uh, one thing with these, you have to check them because sometimes they come in broken or they have um, little slints here that will get stuck on the concha. So you always have to make sure that they're clean and free of anything. Okay, now when we put the stick here through the concha, um, you don't want to go too much into the topping because the topping will fall off. So you want to be careful. You want to look for a spot where there's not topping 
then just try to keep it as centered as possible. And then this one might go through the topping. Um, if it does, that's okay, as long as you know, not a lot of it comes off. So I'm just doing that motion here, pushing it from the bottom through the concha. So once this one is in there, I'll go ahead and put in the other one. Uh, we don't want to leave too much space because then the second one, it will go through the second concha and it will start moving around. So we just want to keep it as tight as we can. So this way they don't really move. And it's easier to put them together once we start using the paper. So I'll do the same with this one. Oh, this one went through the topping. So I'll show you, you can press down on the topping. That way you don't lose too much of it. And again, you push from the bottom of the stick and get it through to the concha. You also want to make sure to not get it um, through here because then it won't stick on the skewer. Okay. And then last one. We'll do the pink one. This one's a little bit, the topping's a little too close here. So I'll do it on this side. We'll put in the other one. Okay, and you can, depending on how big your conchas are, you can decide how many conchas you want to put in your bouquet. Just keep in mind that the more conchas you put in it, the harder it will be for you to wrap it around the paper or wrap the paper around them. So for these, I'll use the floral wrapping paper. I'll use this pink one here. So let me put these over to the side for a little bit. Okay, so I'll open up my wrapping paper all the way. Then I'll do a fold here. I'll press it down just to make that paper a little bit smaller. And I'll grab a piece of deli paper. Since our conchas have butter in them, they do release a little bit of oil, a little bit of butter. Um, and I don't want that to go through into the wrapping paper. So I use a deli sheet to keep that from happening. Okay, so I'll arrange them however I think looks best. Then what I like to do here is grab a piece of baker's twine. Can you still see my screen? I think we were having a little bit of a problem. I was trying to figure that out. We can see you right now. I think it just froze up for a minute. So if you get it going again, we should be good. Okay. Can you see it now? Nope. There we go. Okay. Sorry about that. Okay, so once I have them arranged, um, this is just an extra step I take just to make sure that they don't move around. You don't have to use the baker's twine, but I feel a little bit more secure using it. So I'll wrap it here and I'll tie these together. And as you tie it together, they will kind of move. You just want to get it as tight as possible as you can. Okay. So once I have them arranged this way, I folded my paper. What I'll do next is I'll take this end corner over here on the opposite side and I'll put it towards the center. And here's where, uh, where you'll really need the tape because it won't hold together as you try to assemble it. So I'll take a piece of tape here. I'll put that here. And remember this is double-sided tape. And I'll take off the other side. I use this tool right here to take it off because 
sometimes it's a little bit tricky. I'll do another fold here. It can get a little bit challenging because sometimes the paper doesn't do what you want it to do. Just try the best you can. And we'll stick it where the tape is. Now I'll fold it this way. And I'll put in another piece of tape. I love making these for birthdays, uh, graduations, Valentine's Day. They're super popular with my customers for Valentine's Day and Mother's Day. Um, so I offer these for uh, Valentine's Day this year and also for Mother's Day. And I sold out because everyone just liked them so much. Um, so if you have a special someone, uh, you can give them these and I'm pretty sure they'll be over the moon. So after I taped it, what I did is I just took the rest of it and wrapped it under. Okay. And if you want it to be a little bit more secure, you can put a little bit more tape in the back. But what I'll do is I'll use a piece of ribbon and then I'll add the tape to it. So first I'll measure my ribbon here. I'll measure how big it has to be to be able to make a bow. You can get creative uh, with the colors. Um, if you do make the conchas yourself, you can make them any color you'd like. Um, you can buy any color paper. They have many different options and there's many different options for the ribbons too. Um, so you can make them as pretty as you'd like. And Diana, I did drop the link to your um, website that has the recipe. So any of you tuning in, you can go there. If you're tuning in from social media, you can go to girlsnightlife.com and go to the marketplace and it will take you to her website. Yes. Um, I have a recipe there on my website. I have also a tutorial on how to make the mini conchas on my YouTube and my website as well. And I also have a blog post on how to put together the bouquets using tissue paper. So if you'd like to use tissue paper, you can um, go ahead and take a look on my website. So I'm tying the ribbon as tight as I can so that the conchas won't budge. I'll tie my ribbon. Um, it doesn't have to be perfect. Um, just get it um, as tight as possible. And then you can just cut off the excess. The excess. And with this paper, it's kind of slippery. So the ribbon will fall off when you pick it up. So what I'll do here is I'll cut off. See, let me see if it will cut. Let me see if it falls off since I did put it pretty tight. Okay. So as of right now, it's not budging since I did tighten it. Um, if you don't tighten it, then it will start falling off and the concha bouquet will start to fall apart. But you see how pretty it looks? So that's our big bouquet. This is the one that I offered for Mother's Day this year. And they were so pretty and everyone loved them. So once you've got it together, then we just want to make sure we seal them so that they stay fresh and that you can give them to that special someone. I like to use these big bags, cellophane bags. I buy the ones that have the self seal. Um, so you just take this off here and you'll be able to tape it once you put it inside. 
show you right now. So I'll pick up my bouquet. Okay. And here, if you're not careful with the ribbon, even if it's a little bit tight, it can slide off. So just keep that in mind. Okay, I've got that here. Put it in the bag. Make sure it's really in there. Then I'll take off this little thing here. And I'll make sure that the bag is sealed. So I'll carefully lift the bag and I seal it. And I fold it here if necessary. So we seal it, flip it over. And there we go, we have it wrapped up. You can put another ribbon on this. Uh, you can put a congratulations sticker or a gift tag. Then it's the perfect gift in my opinion. It's delicious and it's beautiful. Um, now with the minis, um, it'll be the same thing, but you can choose uh, which type of product you want to use. For, for the minis, I'll use the same paper, but I'll cut it in half and fours, I mean. While you're cutting that, can you tell us what kind of paper that is? Yes, it's floral wrapping paper. So if you go to Amazon and you type in floral wrapping paper, um, you'll see it there. It has a lot of different colors. Um, there's all types of colors there that you can choose from. And I believe it only comes in this big size. So for the minis, that's why I always have to cut it. Um, and then also I did put together a list on my Amazon storefront uh, with all the products that I'm using today. So we're going to be putting together a mini, which is basically the same process. Um, but since they're mini, they're, it, it will hold a little bit more conchitas. And these minis are actually the most popular ones. These are the most requested when I make bouquets. If I do make minis, these are the ones that sell out first. I started making these back in 2020. I saw this bakery in California that does them. That's where I saw the idea first. Uh, their name is Los Angelitos Bakery. So if you are in California and want to enjoy some conchas or purchase one of their concha bouquets, uh, they are in California. Is that linked to your Amazon store? Is that on your website as well? Uh, which one? You said that all the, your Amazon page? Yes, all the products that I'm using here, everything's on my Amazon uh, storefront. Uh, you can find it um, through my Instagram if you go on my link tree. Okay. So it's actually listed in my links through my social media. So either Instagram or TikTok. Perfect. Thank you. No problem. Okay. Then as we put them in the sticks, um, they will drop some crumbs here because of the topping. It starts crum crumbling off. So you just clean it. Take it out of the way or if you don't, then your paper, your paper will just end up with crumbs. Um, so again, I will put a deli paper here to prevent the butter going through the wrapping paper. I'll arrange the minis this way. You can arrange them however you want. 
then I'll secure it with my baker's twine. So uh, what I like about these is that you can get super creative with it. Um, you've seen all the um, materials that are available, all the materials that you can use. So there's a bunch of different ways to get creative with these. Hold on, you can't see what I'm doing. Push it up. So this is since a little bit different, it's smaller in size. I don't need to do any type of folding on this side. So what I'll do, I'll just secure it here. It won't stick, the tape won't stick to the daily, the daily paper. Sorry, I'm getting tongue tied. So I'll put it here on the edge where it will stick. And this tape, it is a little bit tricky to work with, especially if you have nails. So then I'll take this part here that has the tape and I'll stick it on this end. First, I'll make sure this is out of the way. Arrange your conchas as you're putting it together. Then we'll go ahead and seal it. Another piece of tape here. I think this is also an activity you can do together uh, with that special someone. Um, you can arrange a day where you can make the conchas together and then you put them into the bouquets. It can be a fun activity. So this one, same thing, we can add a piece of ribbon. I'll do red ribbon for this one. Just make sure you tie it as tight as you can. This one's perfect. Just arrange them. There we go. And again, you can choose how many conchas you put in them. You can put more. I think nine of the minis is perfect for these, um, but you can always add more. And then if you want to go even tinier with the bouquets, you can put them in the smaller uh, wooden sticks. You can make even smaller um, bouquets and those can work as party favors, maybe for a wedding or birthday party, bridal shower. And then for these, I'll use the same bag, um, a little bit smaller bag, and I'll just put that in there. Same thing. And it makes the perfect gift. They are so, so, so cute. Thank you. I love it. And we're getting some comments on how people were unaware how tedious the process is of wrapping these, <laughs> which I'm sure obviously because you're working with food, right? So you don't want it to crumble and come apart, but these are just amazing. So I think the, the takeaways is um, get creative. There's a lot of different materials that you can use. Um, you can choose how big you want the bouquet to be. Um, you can choose to do minis, uh, do the regular sized, one, regular sized ones. At the bakery stores, they sell them even bigger than this. Um, so you can actually make them that size as well. So it's totally up to you. Um, I know if I didn't make these, if this wasn't my job and someone gifted me one of them, I'd be over the moon, I'd be super happy, so. They are uh, just absolutely incredible. I say you try it out. Uh, make them for the next birthday. You'll see how fun it is to put them together and just how pretty they look.
And we have dropped in links to follow her on social media. So if you do make these yourself, you know, there's no compliment you could give more, better to a small business owner than sharing those pictures with them and tagging them in it so that they can see what you have. So thank you so much for um, that amazing presentation. We have some questions for you. We are going to say goodbye to our social media friends now. You know you can always join the after party by going to girlsnightlive.com and registering an account for yourself. We've made it much easier for you to be able to register for as many workshops as you want, which we want you here at all of them. And we have this incredible woman come on monthly. We've been having you come on as one of our GNL ambassadors. So thank you all on social media. We will see you tomorrow. And those of you on Zoom, welcome to the after party. Yay. So these are so, so.